what do you think would be a roadmap for somebody who wants to start a career in devops yeah so there is a very good website called roadmap.sh you have to have very good understanding of systems and operations and all those concepts very well so you have to have the passionate of keeping systems healthy or automating systems maintaining the platforms and automating things to to the production environments understand what is devops this is very important because what it is trying to do as a culturally uh, or why companies are going into devops is the most important thing or or what are the key metrics that are important in devops or as a devops engineer or what key metrics that company is trying to solve so when you do know these basics thing or basics or uh, the continuous integration continuous deployment or all this basic stuff it will be easy for you to know that what is your role going to be in a company and then start with basics of linux and start learning basics of uh, git because everybody is using git you cannot escape from that and then how you can integrate ci or how the ci process actually work with git the good thing is now you don't have to use jenkins you can use gitlab ci or github actions itself directly create those workflows and take the code uh, to the cloud my best advice to learn it, learn this faster is don't look at look at these things in isolation look at these things in a in an orchestrated way how you are going to orchestrate all these tools and the cloud platforms to achieve your goal of velocity so what is velocity right how fast you can commit or how fast you are taking the code from your git repository to production because that's the end goal of any company whether whenever they're going into devops right because because they want to compete with other companies and they want to go faster to the market so that's the whole part in doing this you're going to automate things and then you're going to use different tools so these tools are even if you're using shell script that is fine but ultimately the goal is to take the code but there are certain tools in the market that will help you to accelerate this so those are like terraform or um, ansible to an extent and you know you have argo cd and other tools that are helping the kubernetes as a platform for the gitops and uh, you know there is customize and helm and other stuff that are coming in so there are million ways of doing the same thing so you as an engineer you have to find the right way to and adapt to the company's way of implementing the pipeline and you can go into the details of what you have to learn in in the each sdlc pipeline or in in your ci cd pipeline what tools will you have to use and uh, how much you have to learn to implement that so now how you can learn is i have explained this in my last video also because see what is happening is i have seen a lot of people i gave i gave a stat as well so the first thing that everybody does even i do the same thing is go and sign up for a course yeah. whether it is 30 hour course and 40 hour course because by, by the way i'm not huge fan of any course that is more than 15 20 hours because i cannot complete that i thought i'm 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 not doing it, but there is a stat that says like only four to five percent of people who actually complete the whole course in Udemy, uh, less than five percent maybe. My suggestion is that course courses you have to learn or you can learn from anywhere. First, try to create your own project and then go into course that will help you to uh, implement that. Let's say the project is to uh, write a Terraform to provision cloud service, you know, provision something in AWS or GCP. Now, how do you do that? The easiest way is go to Terraform website and just download the Terraform and implement it. But now people might say like, GK, yeah, because you know you. You know, you know that this is how it works. It's easy to <laughs> say that. <laughs> so that is true. Uh, so that's why you, you have, they have to rely on you and and uh, channels, YouTube channels, to understand this, these projects and how companies implement DevOps. Because now, when they know that, it's easy to uh, practice things. Stack Overflow, Udemy. YouTube or any such platforms will help you to know those things and implement these uh, those things. So what I'm trying to say is that learn by do it yourself. You know, learn by implementing it yourself. More than watching 15 hours of video and then uh, going for an interview will be failure because unless you practice that, you cannot face any interview. Interviews okay. they will grill you some questions say, in Kubernetes. Let's say a pod scheduler has failed or uh, there is a crash loop container. How did you debug that? These things it will only happen when whenever you uh, you know deploy that into yeah. Kubernetes. Yeah, platform. Right. My suggestion is learn the roadmap from roadmap.sh or any YouTube channel, and then implement those things by creating smaller projects. I, I think I'm saying this to more people these days because uh, when I look back how I have learned it, I actually have learned it that way. Like learn bare minimum that is required. Now, because when we say that learn Terraform, it doesn't mean that you go and get certification in Terraform. <laughs> because if your target is to get a job in DevOps in next one or two months, you should not spend your time in going through a course of Terraform for 20 hours. because yeah. that those 20 hours will become one to two months easily so nobody has time to do that unless you are a student you came out of college recently and you are passionate and then you complete those 20 hours of course in in 20 hours or 30 hours which is very difficult so if you are realistically speaking 
20 hours of course might take 30 days or you mm-hmm. know more than that learn bare minimum what is terraform how to use terraform to provision infrastructure and then move on to the next topic and work on the project so that's all that would be the fastest way of learning